the Independent Investor Channel for an update on Stallion Discoveries. Very important for us to roll out these updates as they come uh, through the newswire here. Stallion Discoveries has just closed on a um, on a non-brokered uh, $4 million placement here that uh, we're going to talk about in this video in how they're going to put to strategic use uh, on their large land packages, both in uh, Canada, the Athabasca uh, region, as well as here in the States in uh, Nevada and Idaho. Uh, for full disclaimer, uh, Stallion Discoveries has engaged with the Independent Investor Channel to provide uh, updates like these uh, as the company uh, looks to evolve and, and looks to uh, deploy their uh, strategic survey program over their, um, their acquisitions, as well as initiate uh, and continue on with their drill program in line with their strategic goal of making uh, huge discoveries. So with that, guys, um, all the information in the making of this video will be provided in the description below, as well as the full disclaimers with regard to the compensation that I've been provided from Stallion Discoveries. The whole idea here is to provide awareness to a company that uh, has been hard at work for the last three years and is really now emerging on the scene as a major player in the discovery space. With that, guys, we'll get into the video. Please enjoy. And a quick look here at the stock action on Stallion Discoveries has the stock here sitting at 23 cents US. Um, all of my amounts here that I declare to the viewing audience will be for our US investors here. Uh, ticker symbol STLNF, all information provided in the description here. But a leveling off here uh, since the uh, non-brokered finance deal uh, of $4 million. I wanted to put it on the charts for you guys so you had a, a visual representation that the stock has kind of leveled off here uh, at the $0.23 cent range. And the newest slide deck here on Stallion Discoveries. We want to really reintroduce this company to the grander audience here. Um, the company has been hard at work for the last three years acquiring some massive land packages and the deal that they've just secured with the non-brokered private placement of $4 million is going to go to good use um, in exploring these properties. So we thought it fitting to go through uh, the brand new Q1 2023 slide deck and see where those uh, uh, financing are going to go to work in the, um, in the areas that Stallion Discoveries is looking to um, further explore. Uh, to get an idea of uh, strategically what they're working with on their respective properties. So to set the stage here for Stallion Discoveries, um, their jurisdictions, uh, both some of the top mining jurisdictions in the Saskatchewan with their Athabasca project. We'll talk more in detail about that. And then Idaho and Nevada as well. Um, they've got some incredible properties there. And these properties, they all share a, a common thread in that they're next to uh, prolific mining uh, operations and so stallion uh, looks to set their stake um, next to those um, those uh, companies that have been uh, tried and true in the industry to have been uh, long-standing producers and and so the idea here is to acquire these packages that um, uh, in regions that have been uh, long-standing and producing and been prolific in the production of, of, of the specific uh, either uranium or gold and silver. Um, the people uh, are fantastic. The team here that is brought to bear by Stallion Discoveries is second to none, uh, looking to leverage that experience and put it to work. And then finally, the share structure is extremely tight. Uh, you'll see when we get into the financial piece, you'll see that this company is, is uh, uh, ironically undiscovered. Uh, and we're looking to change that and introducing it to the grander audience here. Just a little bit more about the properties here, uh, specifically going after uranium on the eight projects in the Athabasca region. Now, we can expect over the coming months to get some uh, updates, that of which we will push through as they are made available uh, to the public audience about progress that's being made uh, on the uh, survey work that's being done on both properties here, uh, both in Canada uh, and here in the U.S. Uh, with their Idaho and Nevada project going after gold and critical minerals. And they are going to put this money to good use, uh, looking to expand their knowledge about uh, what potential uh, resources they could be sitting on here. Uh, so we will stand by. And we will be uh, eagerly awaiting the progress reports and updates 
uh, from Stallion Discoveries on the progress being made on the uh, survey work at each of these respective properties. And this is just the value proposition that uh, Stallion Discoveries uh, brings to the table with their acquisition in the Athabasca Basin, looking to really profit from the uh, opportunity now uh, made possible through the uranium uh, market and the move toward uh, more sustainable uh, energy uh, initiatives going forward here, especially along the nuclear front. Um, you can see here that the prolific nature of the Athabasca cannot be uh, understated here. 13.2% of the world's uranium is produced and then the grades of your uranium that are produced in the basin are just unparalleled uh, anywhere else in the world. And a slight overview here of the Ath Athabasca Basin project and its whole, you can see here the number of companies in the region. Um, it is safe to consider it prolific. A lot of activity. And the idea here is that Stallion Discoveries has strategically positioned their land packages uh, in association with these existing opportunities. And that's why it's so critical now to be providing this information during the calm before the storm, uh, because the, um, the results of the survey work that is going to be unfolding over the next coming months, it's going to be imperative for us to be at the front of the crest of the wave in understanding what those results turn back, because the value proposition for Stallion Discoveries could quickly change. Uh, once we start to get a trickle of, of those results as they are made available uh, to us and the grander uh, audience here on the channel. And the west western part of the project here borders Fission 3.0. Uh, so again, just uh, an overlay, a little bit more specific on the actual location of this uh, west western project here. Um, and very exciting to see the results of the survey work here that uh, has been made possible uh, by the, the latest announcement from Stallion Discoveries with regard to the uh, $4 million capital raise. And in the eastern side of the Athabasca Basin here, uh, you know, the last interview we had with the CEO, Drew Zimmerman, uh, he expressed really a core focus of Stallion Discoveries uh, in that they're looking to make big discoveries, okay? They're, they're acquiring massive land packages with the idea of putting the survey work over there is, uh, over that property. Uh, with the intention of finding some some massive deposits here, and and we'll know more in the coming months as to the results of that survey work uh, uh, being carried out at the basin. And we announced this on my last video. Video, uh, we did not know that the uh, funding was in the works. I can now announce that that non-brokered uh, placement has been actually issued, and will will be put to strategic work. Uh, this was announced on the last slide deck. Uh, in anticipation of that financing uh, being finalized, but uh, we can proudly announce that uh, Stallion Discoveries uh, now currently has the green light to carry forward what they had previously discussed uh, in their opportunity for further exploration in the basin. We shift our focus here to the U.S. properties in both Nevada and Idaho, uh, respectively in uh, premier jurisdictions. Uh, significant investments by um, multiple mining companies in the region, uh, and it's going to be excellent to see uh, some of that strategic funding uh, be put to good use here uh, in, in bringing forward and, and providing those answers to the questions that we have with regard to the, uh, the, the resource uh, opportunity at both Horse Heaven uh, and the Richmond Mountain projects. And here's the Stallion Discoveries property as it butts right up against the Stibnite Gold project. I mentioned at the top of the delivery here that this is really a, a, a strategy that Stallion Discoveries looks to uh, establish their properties uh, alongside known and proven jurisdictions and mining operations uh, that have proven historically to be very resource rich. And just a quick overlay for uh, anybody that's interested in understanding kind of the strategic location of where the Horse Heaven uh, project is located. Uh, just north of Boise uh, in Idaho um, is uh, really kind of uh, one of those exciting properties that is going to be amazing for me to report out on uh, once some of those dollars are infused into the project. Uh, along the lines of understanding, um, you know, what type of resource we're actually looking at in the ground here uh, when some of those drill results actually get turned back 
and we can understand what we're working with here uh, in the region. And here I-80 Gold is uh, currently conducting an extensive drill program at Ruby Hill, uh, so it just begs the opportunity here for Stallion Discoveries to uh, expand upon those efforts on their property here at Richmond Mountain, um, and that new financing is going to allow them the opportunity to do just that. I don't expect that this strategic use of capital is going to deviate much from what I'm declaring to you now uh, from this slide uh, for the Horse Heaven project in um, really expanding upon or completing, completing their drill permit and then find out, finalizing the 3D modeling for the targets uh, as well as um, some uh, strategic rollout uh, for their discovery of antimony. Um, this would be awesome to see how this unfolds and then finally the Richmond Mountain project um, to uh, model new data for targeted drilling uh, program there. So um, I, I would imagine that this is where some of the new funding is going to go, and we will chronicle the progress of each of these initiatives in the coming months uh, as these discoveries are made. And some key members here, the team here at Stallion Discoveries, Drew Zimmerman has uh, been a guest on the Independent Investor Channel. Um, he will continue to come and, and give uh, his address to the audience. Uh, as to the progress uh, at Stallion Discoveries, and we look forward to those uh, further opportunities. Just a quick overlay of the share structure here. Uh, ticker symbols and all information will be provided in the description below. But I want to bring your attention to the relatively lean share flow to 63 million. Uh, market cap just over 20. Uh, current share price trading at 23 cents US. Uh, please don't uh, misconstrue here. Uh, 32 cents uh, at the time of filming this video, uh, 32 cents CAD. Um, so 23 cents here on the U.S. markets, and we'll continue to track the progress going forward. And as with anything, I would invite uh, each and every person viewing this content to do their own due diligence. But uh, my review of Stallion Discoveries leads me to believe that the team uh, and the opportunity that they have with their properties and their aggressive nature in going after these properties and acquiring them and just recently securing the funding to, to go after and further um, uh, survey uh, and um, really carry out the strategic goals over each project will really lend itself uh, an interesting story here. And uh, add it to your watch list. It's going to be fun to see them execute along um, their strategic goals. And we will be right there along uh, the line. Uh, sharing their progress at Stallion Discoveries and we'll be engaged in uh, paying forward any of the updates that we have from Stallion Discoveries. You'll be the first to know. Uh, thank you for joining me for this uh, review of Stallion Discoveries. It's an awesome company to cover, uh, fairly undiscovered, which the whole idea here is to connect investors um, with a story that they may not have understood even existed out there and, and for the work that Stallion is doing uh, in the discovery and exploration uh, space is, is, is really second to none. If you're interested in finding out more information, you can visit stalliondiscoveries.com uh, or reach out to them via email provided there for you or give them a call. They'll be happy to answer any questions or you can leave them in the comments section uh, of this video and we'll do the very best we can to get you those, uh, that, those answers that you seek. Uh, on the company. And with that, we'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video. So that'll conclude our update on Stallion Discoveries. Uh, I'd like to invite the audience to stand by for more. Uh, it's going to be incredibly fun to track the progress of of where this funding uh, goes to work and, and what is rendered from it, specifically with regard to their survey work uh, up in the Athabasca region, uh, as well as their uh, two massive land properties here. Uh, in the United States. So stay tuned for that. I'll cordially invite you to uh, continue to evolve with the story with me. Uh, Stallion Discoveries is um, one of those companies that we're glad to share uh, and share in the progress of the companies. And we will uh, make those updates uh, known as they uh, become available to us. Uh, if you are new to the channel, I'd invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions for Stallion Discoveries, Leave those in the comments section below, and we'll get those answered as quickly as we can. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this uh, video, and good luck in your investment future.